So is Shoptimize just one big scam? Well, the short answer to that is no, thankfully, and uh, I'll explain why in a second. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Bradley Long, and I'm the founder and CEO of Shoptimize. And we've been around since 2015, and Shoptimize is a theme that's built for the e-commerce platform Shopify. And our theme is in fact loved by more than 20,000 Shopify store owners who use it every day to help improve their store's performance. Now, uh, the reason that we've become embroiled in talks of scams is basically because we've unwittingly become a victim of our own success. Because so many people are using our theme, it's uh, the go-to choice for a lot of store owners. And what's happening is that a group of criminals or a criminal individual have downloaded an outdated copy of our theme from one of these pirate sites and they're using it to launch a string of pop-up rip-off stores. And they're scamming people out of the hard-earned cash basically by advertising goods on Facebook mainly that are just too good to be true in terms of their pricing. So with deals on things like electric cars, workbenches, cabinets, power tools and outdoor furniture that are literally uh, just too irresistible for some unsuspecting shoppers, um, what happens is once they click through onto the website uh, they, uh, from seeing the ad, they arrive at a store that's using our logo. Okay, so at face value, it looks like the store is called Shoptimize. But if you scrutinize it further and actually look at the uh, web address in the top of your browser, you'll see that the URL is uh, usually just a string of incomprehensible uh, letters. Okay. Um, but for the innocent victims who don't notice this, they pay up in good faith, they end up waiting forever and a day for an order that just never arrives. And when they go to chase that order by clicking uh, through from their order confirmation e email, then the stores vanish without trace. Uh, and uh, at very best, they might get a canned response, an automated response from uh, that store stalling for time. But no matter how many times you try and email them, you never get a personal response and the sender's name is usually a Chinese name, okay? So these fraudsters that are most likely in China um, uh, work in the fact that they're buying themselves time with excuses like we have a backlog, please be patient, um, or the shipping container sank and we're working with the insurers. And they're basically just stringing people along until the victim's 90-day window to submit char charge back with their credit card provider lapses. And once that's lapsed, they're home free with your cash, okay? So when these poor victims start looking for answers, they obviously come knocking on our door, but since we have no relationship with these scam stores because they've uh, got a pirated copy of our software, we don't know who they are, so there's literally nothing we can do, sadly. Now, uh, when that happens, the victims are understandably angry and they just want to lash out at someone, and often this means the shot to my gets the brunt of their wrath and um, scam reports have popped up all over the place, getting posted on consumer websites and blogs and wherever, by people who haven't really understood what's going on. So uh, how can we put a stop to these scam artists? Well, uh, we're working with Shopify to notify them as soon as we find out uh, there's a new store up online and um, their risk team are shopping and shutting them down as soon as they can. But the problem is, as soon as they close one down, another one pops up, okay? Uh, now Shopify is a very popular platform and there's my best guess around 700 to 1,000 new stores getting launched every day. So for them to manually inspect uh, each one is very difficult. So it seems like these low-life scam artists have an endless supply of cloned copies of their websites so they can quickly upload a new version to a different web address the minute they get one shut down. And because they're, they appear to be in China, there really is no way for us to track them down, which is super annoying. So if you are a victim, all you can do is contact your credit or debit card provider or PayPal and submit the chargeback or dispute and hope you can get your money back that way. That's literally your, your only recourse. But if you're um, just doing some due diligence because you've seen one of their ads and you kind of don't trust the pricing because it does sound too good to be true and you're watching this video because you're um, you know, trying to investigate before, uh, you part of your cash, then the best thing you do is go back to that ad on Facebook and report it via the icon in the top right-hand corner of the ad, okay? So um, if you've been a victim, really sorry about that, but like I said, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, but please do report them to either your credit card provider, PayPal, to Facebook, or to Shopify themselves, and hopefully between us we can uh, get these criminals shut down for good.